Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Radash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world knows is Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the Holy Lick. And today this message is going to be titled, Our Lord is Harsh. You see? And, and and that's a and that's a very true statement, you see, because the Lord is a very hard man. You see, how about Hashem Yahushua? You know, by the way of the things that He may put you through, you know, to test your faith. Like Job, that's a harsh situation to get put in. You see, the three holy children, that's a harsh situation to get put in. Um, Daniel and the lions, then that's a harsh situation to get put in. But guess what all of them had in common? Hey, they had faith. You know, they believed in the Lord. They believed that the Lord was going to protect them and save them. Because they put all their trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You see? And the Lord said, cast thy burdens upon me and I shall sustain thee. But I'm going to um, start right here in Matthew 25 and 24. Then he which had received the one talent came and said lord i know so like lord i knew thee that thou art an hard man reaping where thou has not sown and gathering where thou has not straw and i was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo there thou has that is thine his lord answered and said unto him thou Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not straw. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own usury. And you see, and it's going until you know these talents, these on uh, this will. So I just understand that the Lord gave us, hey, we supposed to be bidding, you know, the people to the marriage. You see, but what he did, he hid it, and the Lord called them wicked and slothful. You see, and the Lord called them slothful because hey, he he wasn't doing the work. You see, when I'm gonna get that word hard, but I just want to finish this off. It says. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which had ten talents. You see? Hey, and that's a hard situation, man. The Lord bless you with this truth and you ain't doing nothing with it. Get what? You like, I'm gonna take it away from you. Now you bugged out. Hey, and we ain't trying to get put in that situation. You see? But um going up to 24, when he says, Thou art a hard man. And get the definition for hard. This is G forty six forty two, and it says hard, harsh, rough, stiff. Of men, metaphorically harsh, stern, hard. Of things violent, rough, offensive, intolerable. And guess what? The Lord He gonna come back and get real violent. They say the um the slain of the Lord shall be many. You see? But, hey, this truth is very offensive, hey, and that's why you got to pray that you don't get offended. You see? Because the times we're coming in, hey, ain't no telling what the Lord might put us through, you know, to test our faith. You see? That's why we got to hold fast into this. I'm going to go to John 8 and um, start at verse 21. And I'm going to show you that the Lord, his word, hey, so it's offensive, you know. And yeah, John 8 and 21. Then said, Yahweh shall again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, ye cannot go. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself because he saith, whether I go, ye cannot go? And he said unto them, ye are from beneath, I am I am from above, ye are of this world, I am not of this world. Hey, and that's cold, man. Hey, our Lord, hey, that's a God right there, man. That's the true power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. 
And he came down on the earth. He shed his blood for us, risen himself, you know, back to life. Then got beamed up. Hey, man, that's the Lord that we serve, man. And he's greatly to be feared. You see? It's a hard man. You know, and if you was to read this whole story, you would see how the people was getting offended by the things that he was saying. Then said they unto, unto him, Who art thou? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And speaking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. You see? And we all speak in the words of the Lord, thus said the Lord. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then say Yahweh shine to them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father have taught me, I spake these things. You see, and, and what we say is not of us, it's of the Father, you know. Uh, however we talk, you know, you might be like, oh, you rude, or you 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 curse too much, or you, hey. But guess what? We we doing what the Lord said do. You might not like how we bring it out or whatever we say, but, hey, man's going is of the Lord. And like the Lord told Moses, I put these words in, the, in your mouth, you see. But at the end of the day, we all doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're telling you that he's going to come back and he's going to avenge the Israelites because all the wickedness that Esau, Edom, the so-called white boy, has done to our nation and two-thirds of our people for following after him. You see? Verse 29. And he that sent me is with me. The Father have not left me alone, for I, for I do always those things that please him. And he spake these words, many believed on him. Verse 31, Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciple in, disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You see, and the Lord said, If you can continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. Now I'm finna get this word, word, you know, It's G3056, logos, is word, speech, a word uttered, a word uttered by a living voice embodies a conception or idea. A, and all these, you know, uh, precepts, a, we, we live by that. We believe on that, that the Lord going to come back with chairs and he going he gonna to slaughter many. It's going to be famines out here, pestilence. Cheat the wild beast, newly created creatures. We believe all that. You see, that was the word go back to. It's a, a decree, a mandate, an order. The moral precepts given by the Most High. You see, it's a what is declared, a thought, declaration, alphorism, a weighty saying, a dictum, a maximum. I'm going to get this word alphorism. That's what this word is. The word is an alphorism. It's a, a pithy observation that contains a general truth let me get this definition for pithy it's a of language or style it's a concise or forcefully expressive <laughs> a and that's the word that's why the little harsh because this word is a concise and forcefully expressive you see you might hear a brother say hey you know if you don't get your shit together you're gonna die Hey, and, and that's a harsh thing for somebody to hear. Like, what you mean? You see? And this concise, giving a lot of information clearly in a few words. Brief but comprehensive. You see? And that's just true, man. But like you said, it's forcefully excessive. You see? That's why we constantly out there telling you, hey, either you're going to repent or you're going to die. That's brief but comprehensive. You can comprehend that. You see? But hey, a lot of people get offended in that, you see, because it all go back to hey, you you being you just being blocked from this truth, man, you know, pride being haughty. But the Lord, He gonna judge you for that, you know, for being offended in His word. You see, you done heard way worse things than that, 
And you done seen way worse things than that, living in this wicked society. You see? But he said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples, and the truth shall make you free. I'm going to get this word um, free. G1659, it says, to make free, set at liberty from the dominion of sin. And that's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to be set at liberty from the dominion of sin. We're trying to be a, we're trying to have our sins blotted out. You know, why two-thirds of our people get wiped out here right along with these white, white, white folks. You feel me? So-called white people, the Edomites. You see? We trying to have our sins, you know, eradicated. And the Lord bless us to be beamed up out of here. You see? But, hey, the point is, hey, the Lord, this word is going to be harsh, man. It, it might not be, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Smooth to the ears to hear. But, hey, guess what? All these words are faithful and true, and they surely shall come to pass. You see, and like the Apostle Paul said, though I be rude in speech but not in knowledge. So, hey, don't get, you know, all twisted up because you may hear a brother talking all rough. Hey, it's just the spirit of your house shy. You see? And I'm going to end it right here. Uh, yeah, Matthew. Yep, Matthew 11 and 6. And it says, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. You see? And, and this come with whatever the Lord have, you know, the speech or whatever he put you through. Hey, because the time, hey, it's finna, get, it's finna get serious out here. And the Lord said, blessed is he whosoever is not offended in me. And I'm finna get this word offended real quick. You know, I just want to see. We know what offended means. Hey, say, this is the word for offended, G4624. Scandalizo, he say to put a stumbling block or impediment in the way. He say upon which another may trip or fall, metaphor to offend. You see, hey, and that's going to hey, you might hear somebody the way somebody speaking, you get offended by that. You walking by and you hear somebody say, "Oh, these hoes gonna die." Oh, you like, oh, now you offended. Well, guess what? The Lord said, "Bless is he who is not offended in me." But hey, Lord willing, this video was edifying to you, brothers and sisters. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.